welcome, welcome. My name is Marcus Bowles, President and CEO of Customized Minds. You know I'm pumped up, excited, you're back, tuning in, getting some more great information on your way to becoming a super achiever. So we're tuning in, we're diving in on today, helping you become better so you can help us all around you benefit from whatever it is that drives you. And that's actually what we're gonna be talking about on today. We're, all, we're going to be talking about true inspiration. I know I've asked myself this question before, and I'm very thankful that I found the answer, and I hope that it resonates with you and helping you answer this question if you've asked yourself it before. And that is, what really drives you? What is your true inspiration? You know, what really gets you up out of the bed, gets you moving, gets your blood flowing, excited, sweating, whatever. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Well, I've been able to really narrow it down to these three things. Number one, that is your desire to help people. Number two, something in your past that has happened to you is all it could be driving you. Or number three, your current challenges or roadblocks. It's one of those three things that really truly drive you to becoming better, growing, doing more, setting goals, achieving those goals, setting more goals, achieving those goals, and really living life. One of those three things. So we're gonna break down each one of those segments. So number one, which is mine, I have a true passion for helping loving, inspiring, and empowering people. I know that is my life mission. And I'm able to do that right here today through this message and through other technologies and platforms that I'm very blessed and thankful that somebody else created that allowed me to utilize them, surround myself with a great team, hear Customized Minds, and hit hard with that, pers that, that, that purpose. That may be something similar to you. You may have a, a love, a passion, and driving for helping the inner city youth. You may have a passion, love, and drive for helping share and release faith into someone's life. You may have a helping, loving, passion drive to help those in need in the, the medical industry, whether that be you know at, at a hospital or home care. You may have some type of love, drive, or passion for Whatever the area may be, but if it's connected to people, that is what is driving you. That is your true inspiration. That is your passion. Mine is in, again, the personal development and professional development growth areas, and particularly surrounding entrepreneurs, because I truly believe that we have all been given a gift, multiple gifts, talents, and skills that need to be and should be cultivated and ultimately turned into a business to help someone else achieve their goals. That is what I believe. If you really look around us, I truly believe the world is nothing but a business from the universities, from the government, to of course the businesses that we work for and that we work at, our communities, they all have hierarchies and, and have passions and missions and need finances to run off of them. That is my philosophy of the world. And I love it, but you may have a different one. But if it's ultimately connecting with people, that is your true inspiration and what is driving you. So you're welcome in giving you that answer. Secondly, there is something that has happened to you in your past that is currently driving you to achieve your goals. You know, we have, there are so many people, a lot of super achievers who have horrific background stories and just, just, Tra traumatizing and traumatic things that they have overcome. And when they tell their story, they'll refer to those dramatic experiences. You know, uh, we, we hear about, you know, people being raped. You know, we hear about, you know, murders happening. We hear about, you know, deaths. We hear about, you know, accidents. When when you look at some super achievers and, and you know, some just coming to you know, a, a better world, such as, you know, America or a different country, a country, their parents coming out of poverty, working for pennies on the dollar, minimum wages. We hear all types of childhood stories or something not even may not have just happened a few years ago. 
you know, that changed your life that you, again, you look at some super achievers and when they tell their story, they'll say, that's what driven them. That's what drove them to do what it is that they achieved. That is what they're, that's what they found to be their true inspiration and what helped them overcome it and become a super achiever. I, I really didn't have a, a, a bad background or, or, or upbringing. My thing was, is that I was the youngest and that is what drove me. I was the youngest out of everyone around me. And, you know, I was always told that, oh, you're too young, you can't compete. It, you know, that's not horrifying or, you know, degrading. It does, you know, damper your spirit. But I said, okay, I'm going to prove you wrong. And I had done and I surpassed all of them and playing on a whole different level. So that's number two. You're welcome for helping you now understand what is driving you to go forward. And number three, there is something currently happening in your life. There is some type of roadblock. There is some type of adversity. There is some type of situation that you have faced or encountering or have connected with. And that is what you're using to drive you. You know, we know there's a lot of things going on in our community right now, especially around, uh, you know, police brutality and just that whole segment. What that has also done, it has allowed a lot of people to connect with that issue that has been going on in the United States and other countries for a very long time. But now since we have technology, news media, social media like none other before, People have identified with that cause, and that is what's driving them to whether it be protest, whether it, it, it create unity between the communities, the, the civilians and the officers, the administrations and the cities and the governments. People are utilizing some that, that current roadblock, challenge, adversity, hindering, whatever it may be, as a drive to go forward. For me, I'm just focused on growth every single day. My current challenge, my current adversity, my current roadblock that I'm facing is being better today than I was yesterday and being better tomorrow than what I am today. So if you think about the three areas that I have described, we all relate to all three. So collectively, that is what drives you. That is your true inspiration, helping and loving someone. Being able to overcome adversity and roadblocks or situations that have happened to you in the past and that you're currently facing and connecting with in today's time. There you have it. There you have it. Those are the three areas that drive you and make you who you are and make you a super achiever. So, as I always say, you know what's coming. You have what you say now. If you believe it now, it is yours to have right now, today, in this lifetime. The power of life and death is in the tongue. First and foremost, it's in the mind, but you got to believe in the heart. Yes, yes. Share this information. I'm, again, thankful that you now understand and know your true inspiration. So I look forward to seeing the comments, feedback, and how it's helping you become better today as well as tomorrow than you were today. Take care and I'll see you soon.